We're rehearsing at Herbst Theater, an open rehearsal, which is, is something that we started a few years ago, this element of our season where uh, people can come in and, and uh, listen to the rehearsal, which is, um, I think it's fun for them. Uh, they, they see our work process. Um, they see uh, our, our discussions and figuring out how to do something, the, the decisions we make. And it's good for us um, because we kind of behave a little bit. There are people in the audience. We are rehearsing now for our most extensive tour, plus two tour kickoff concerts here. I'm very, very proud that, that uh, you know the, the the growth of the orchestra and, and and how it's expanding and how it's being accepted by the rest of the nation. My ambition when I came on as music director here was it was very evident to me that they were absolutely excellent and. It was also evident to me that I, I, I thought everyone should know that. So this was my purpose. And after we opened, which was a spectacular opening concert, um, about five weeks after that, the economy completely crashed. So um, my plans, and I am absolutely dogmatic about my, my plans, uh, were, were delayed slightly. Um, I would say in this very, very difficult time for the arts, for everyone, especially for the arts, it's uh, phenomenal how New Century has done nothing but grow throughout this time, whereas many, unfortunately, arts organizations have stopped or waiting it out kind of thing. And uh, during this period, we, we um, got ourselves a national radio presence. We started touring. We started releasing CDs. We, we have released a, um, a DVD. We continue to tour. The reputation grows and grows and grows, and it's never stopped going forward. The Bay Area knows this orchestra, and um, you know how you kind of maybe take things for granted a little bit. Um, and that's simply not the case. When we go on the road, the audiences go crazy. They, they don't see vitality like this on stage. We are so capable of, it, of conveying uh, joy when we play. Any performance that we do and any performance that I program, there's gonna be something on that program that you haven't heard before. You know, string orchestra repertoire is pretty small, and I, I refuse to be boxed into a, a small repertoire, so I'm constantly looking for new repertoire, commissioning new repertoire for us, and also commissioning arrangements. If you look at the first half of the program, you've got very early, young, vibrant Mendelssohn, fabulous opener. And then you've got this contemporary concerto. The concerto was written for me in the orchestra, so it's, it's a commission, and it's, it's written for us. It's, it's, it's our gift. And then you've got Strauss, this extraordinary piece on, on the second half. It's the most challenging of all the string orchestral works. It's written for 23 solo instruments. There is no violin section, there's no viola section. Uh, everybody is completely responsible for their part in this piece. The challenge is something that I felt, um, not only that we could do, we absolutely could do it, but I wanted to really just uh, show off. I can't tell you how, I, how aware I am of, of the audience. Not so much what I hear, but the, the, there are vibes that are so strong. And I've been doing this for a long time. And I kind of make them feel what I want them to feel. There's nobody in that audience or anywhere that's not going to know that particular song by the fourth note. And that is our encore on tour, by the way. 
I'm, I'm proud to play it. I mean, we're from San Francisco, so, you know, we're going to play that piece, no matter where we are. Yeah.